Right. Johnny, congratulations. Fabulous performance. To meet Roman van Barnwell, you must be over the moon with that. Yeah, 100%. Played well against the legend of that. So, um, yeah, it's nice to get that first win under my belt, the first game under my belt. And, um, yeah, I'm proud of the way I played. We've seen you play well on the floor, winning a pro tour. Was it nice to take that form onto a TV stage? Oh, yeah, 100%. It's confidence, you know, obviously. Confidence brings success, do you know what I mean? And there's a smile on my face. I want to play again and, yeah. I, you know, Johnny's starting to get where he should be. So what was it like walking back Doors here. Obviously, you had a great run to the final last year. Was it a nice feeling coming uh, back? Not really. I didn't want to be here, to be honest. Um, I could have easily pulled out, you know, too many memories. And um, yeah, but I'm back. I've got the first game over with a win. <laughs> so I'm here for a bit longer, guys. So we'll see you on Tuesday, I think. What's reignited Johnny Clayton? Because obviously, we know everything he went through. But now it's the old ferret, the smile's back, the point of the camera's back. What's, what's <laughs> turned it for Johnny Clayton? Yeah, I don't know, you know, um, I ain't going to lie to you, I was going to give it all up, you know, when I lost my dad, I was going to give it all up, I'm not bothered about darts, right, and, um, you know, I got friends and family behind me who believe in me, and they just kept saying, he wouldn't have wanted this, just play what you do best, and I'm trying to get back to it, so, um, yeah, there's a smile back on the old ferret, and uh, hopefully you'll see a lot more of him. Johnny, Thank you, Bob. Johnny, the, the form's really good at the moment. On the Euro Tour, we've seen some of your best stuff, and, and then on the Pro Tour as well. You talk about the, the, the tougher times earlier in the year and, and last year. So, sort of looking back, how proud of you? How you come through that? Yeah, I am. You know, like listen, I know, I you know, I, I know myself. I'm not daft. You know, my form dipped big time. Not good enough. I was, I wasn't involved in the Premier League because I wasn't good enough. And I want to prove people wrong. I want to prove to them that I am good enough. You know, I want that back, like, and you know, I need to start somewhere, and hopefully, this is starting to kick off my my return. You know, so listen, I'm enjoying that. I got a smile on my face, and that's all that counts. How did it feel to be to be left out of the Premier League? A hundred percent disappointed, but you know, I'm man enough. If not playing well, you ain't gonna get a spot in that elite. So um, I want that back. When you you weren't sort of playing your best darts, was there really a thought of? You might stop playing, stop playing dance at the level. Yeah, 100%. I, you know, I, I was going to leave the dance, I was throw in the bin. When, when I lost my dad, listen, we were big mates, right? And, you know, dance was his world. And it's proud to perform for somebody that's so close because we were best buddies. I just lost all interest. I didn't want to be here. I, I ain't going to lie. I did not want to be here. And, you know, it's the good family and good friends behind me, good support. Listen, I'm trying to get back. Thank you, Bob. Johnny, is this almost a perfect time for a world match play? If this was three months ago, do you think you could have got up on that stage and produced anything close to that some percent? No, probably not. Uh, if I'm if I'm honest enough, no, probably not. I was nowhere, good, nowhere near good enough. And averages, games, you know, it, it all proved that I wasn't good enough. But something clicked and hopefully I'm on the road back. Last year you made the final with just one ton plus average just done that on that stage you really feel like your game is at the level now where you can go even one better and lift the world match play oh I'd love to do you know what I mean I think I meet that um, guy Luke Humphries halfway through or whatever <laughs> but it's listen if you want to win tournaments you've got to beat the best so I take game by game and hopefully I can do that one step better we spoke to Gary Price earlier he said that tomorrow he supported England in the Euro final will you be, will you be doing the same well, I'm a Liverpool supporter, so I'm going to have to, am I? You know, um, now listen, I'm a great believer in you need luck in sport. I think they've had a bit of luck, and now they're starting to play well. So I think it's going to, they're going to be tough to beat. Well done, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been in the final last year. Going back here, being on that stage again, does it feel different than before? Um, I love this stage. It's my favourite tournament. I, I have to be honest. You know, um, the fans are, are fanatic. So. You know, they know the chants, they know the songs, they know everything about that. And it's a good feeling when you're up on that stage and you're throwing well because they support you big time. And yeah, it's nice to be back. Was last year's final on your mind when you walked out? Well, listen, last year, difficult time. So, you know, it's, it's difficult to forget, but it was still a proud moment to get to that final. I need that cup. I quite like that cup. So um, I'm going to try my best to get it this year. 
yeah, listen, I just take game by game and try and produce good averages. If you produce good averages, it means that you're playing well and you're finishing well. So game by game and hopefully I can get to that end. Thank you. Oh, one game at a time, obviously. Listen, it's always in the back of my head that, you know, we can do one more step to win that trophy. But obviously it's game by game and I try my best and, uh, and that's it, really. Thank you.